Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I brought this uh, minnow bucket lamp back home from the camper because uh, I want to do something different with it. What I don't like, it, it, you know, I used uh, some automotive heat shrink to hold the parts together, and it's not real stable. It just kind of wiggles back and forth, and the end result is that it leans a little bit. So, one of the things that I learned when I made the uh, the uh, fly rod lamp was the, the bigger diameter fishing rods will allow for you to pass the all thread all the way through the rod. You can suspend the rod and set it up just how you want it. It's nice, straight, and sturdy. I've got an old Zebco measuring stick out in the garage I'm fixing to modify. And we're going to redo this lamp and do it right. So I'll uh, bring you back just as soon as I get some progress made. See you in a few. Okay, here's that, uh, here's that fishing pole I was telling you about, the, the measuring stick. And in the end of it, you can barely see it right there, is a, uh, let me see if I can get this out one-handed. Let me move that over for, it's kind of jammed in there, but there it is. There's the measuring tape. That's, I guess it was something they came up with so that you can uh, double check people like my buddy O.A. Ron, Mr. Fish Story. Anyhow, I'm going to probably cut it off right here, right there at the edge of that foam handle, and then somewhere up in here, I just, I'll use the other old fishing pole as a measuring, to measure off, and then um, I'll have to run to the hardware store and grab a, some of those long all threads because I'll need that because it's got to go through the bucket and then through the fishing rod to keep everything stable. So anyway, I'm going to get some cutting done and now I'll bring you back when I get some more stuff put together. All right, I'm starting the process now of pulling this thing apart. I've got the fishing pole, the old pole loose. I'm fixing to take this loose and, and uh, I got to uh, take the fishing, or fishing line, the uh, electrical cord out of the center of it. And then uh, I'll be refeed, refeeding but uh, uh, into the, the new um, all thread, but I got to when I get to that point, I'll have to run to the hardware store and grab that. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick update, show you where I'm at, getting this thing back apart. I uh, was missing some gravel that I was going to use in my nightstand. And, uh, well, I forgot I put it in the bottom of the minute bucket to add some weight to it. Anyway, a little trivia that's worthless, but... Anyhow, I'm going to get back to work on this, and I will bring you back as soon as we get some more progress made. See you shortly. Okay, I've got the fishing pole. Sit down and the um, all thread run through it. I had to do some uh, wallering out of the hole at the bottom of the bucket so that I can get this, uh, this rod straight. And now it's just a matter of uh, cutting the excess off and putting the rest of the little goodies back on it. Running the line, uh, the uh, the electrical cord and just putting it back together and then I'll take it back to the camper and put it back there on the uh, on that little uh, end table in between my recliners so here we go here's your update when I get it uh, further along I'll bring you back and let you have a peek see you shortly
Okay, I've got all the components, for the most part, reattached to the uh, inner lining of the minnow bucket. So now all i got to do is uh, run the uh, electric cord back up through, reattach the light socket, put the fishing reel back on it, which is that old, uh, it's an old 1950s uh, bird nest maker, Green Hornet model. I don't have my glasses. I think that's a 2200, but neat old fishing reel. I'll put that back on it. So anyway, I got some uh, cord to run, and as soon as I get everything put back together, I'll bring you back and uh, let you have a, a little sneaky peek. So see you shortly. All right, folks, I've got the, uh, well, I'm tripping over my planer. Got that old fishing reel back on there. Probably ought to try to clean that fishing pole up a little bit. Or just leave it like it is to, to, to uh, give it the effects of uh, being an old rod. But here's, uh, I'm getting ready to give it a click. There you go. And back off. Turned out pretty good. Now that's a little more stable. There's no wobble. It's back nice and straight. So I can take that back to the camper and not have to worry about it. But now that I've perfected these things, I'll start looking for minnow buckets and stuff and old fishing poles. And, and I'll build these to sell. And I've got to replace my, uh, my um, fly rod lamp. So That'll be my next project, and I think I've got a base for it already. I uh, made a uh, coffee table whatnot decor thingy-majigger bopper, whatever, out of a, a trout and uh, an odd piece of wood. So I think I may uh, may use that and attach the fly rod to it. But, uh, right now, this minute bucket has been redone, and it's ready to go back into the camper. So. Guys, until the uh, until next time, uh, like and share if you uh, enjoyed the video, uh, and do uh, do subscribe. The more the merrier. You guys take care and have a great weekend. See you, bye.